Hey guys, and welcome back to European Universalis 4 Beyond Typus. There you go. Are you happy? It's the right name. It's pretty I'm good. Jo I'm joined as always by Lambert, Zippy, and Arimba. Hey. And there's uh, there's also someone who's who's silent, who just watches and is quick to hear. <laughs> this is the man in the shadows, or should I say the monkey? <laughs> anyway, what's going on with everyone? How can we, can we get a quick rundown of how everyone's doing? I'm exploring um, the new world. Oh. Or, well, I'm well, trying to find it. <laughs> if, if you want a quick rundown yourself, here's just a, just press L and press F1. And along the top of the screen, there's a button for players. No, no, I've got, I've got like... Yeah, like, you can, I mean, that's a great way of just seeing I know, but, you know, this job that we do is 99% talking. Yeah, but I want to prove to you how much better than you I am. That's why I'm trying to make you do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> you are, you are in last place there, Steve. Yeah. Well, he won the war, though, against England, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm in last place for what, though? Fuck, I have 22 ticks. Get out of here. Income? That's okay. I don't need income. Yeah, but, like, Castile's almost double my income. Well, that's just because I'm Castile. That's true. That that's is true. It is only because you're Castile. It, no, it really is. Like, the, the minute that you become... Oh, what the hell? My royal marriage ended. Oh well. So what else can we check? Army quality comparison. Castile has the best army. Eh, debatable. Huh. Uh, not factories. really. Not really debatable at all. What the hell? Many factories give much less goods produced, but they give naval force limit. Wait, what? Huh? Oh. They do? Uh, apparently, I, I... apparently Eyes Monkey is experimenting with whether or not he's allowed to pause the game. <laughs> it turns out the answer is yes, he can. <laughs> Boo. Oh, we have a pretty similar sized army, you and I, Castile. Apart from you have decided 7,000 cavalry is the way to go for some reason. I like cavalry, okay? They do have, for me right now on Tech 8, they have 3 shock, which is triple. What, like, practically, well, it does not matter. Two and a half times as much as the uh, infantry. It's just huge. They really scaled it up. I like the fact that all of us have very little manpower. I'm working on it. The game itself gives you very little manpower. <laughs> Scotland may be in last place with income, but he's got the most money. Sorry, the most manpower. I was going to say with five ducats. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's actually got a similar... It's, it's exactly the same sized army as uh, you as well, remember. Although he has no cavalry at all. Mm -hmm. mm. That's unacceptable. I think. Um. <laughs> hey, remember something you're last in? You have you have the smallest navy. <laughs> this is true. I do have I have a I have a coastal province though now. No, wait, no, no. I also have the smallest navy. I sold my boat. I can I can make eight boats now. I'm very excited about this. Uh, we've been working yeah. on this for a long time. Uh, our country is just positioned properly. I think glorious future growth. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So yeah, I was gearing up to attack Savoy, but then I realized, or rather I remembered, that my aggressive expansion is looking a little bit toasty right now. So I'm just going to give it a couple more years. Maybe I'll call France in on favors instead. I gain, oh, one every three years? Yeah, never mind. That's never going to fucking happen then. Yeah. France, do you want to call me to war against England or something? You need 20 favors just to be able to declare. It's kind of... Kind of a bit much. Yeah. That's interesting. I can't actually make it to America with my fleet. You probably Wait. need Diplotech 7. Wait a minute. Are you Wait, manually exploring? No, no, I'm giving my, my fleet uh, missions. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You think I need an extra Diplotech? Diplotech yeah, I mean, 7, like you... usually, to get all the way there. Unless you're just looking for South America. I'm just looking for the New World in general, so I can get the, uh... Wait, is it a mission? Or, hold on. Yeah, you're gonna need t Tech 7, because you get 115 extra range. Either that, or maybe colonize that's, Bermuda, if you can reach it. But that's colonial range, I thought. That that, that applies to my Explorer? Yeah. Like his ability to, to sail? Explore? Yeah. Huh. Alright. 
Yeah, could you go ahead and like find that new world so that in like twelve years we can all get the institution? Working That'd on be it. Great. <laughs> yeah. I really like the idea. Of this this uh, military advisor shock damage received minus seven and a half. Like mm. that is sizable. Yeah. He's pretty good. I've got him as well. I also have a national sailors modifier for some reason. I guess he was the best one available. Oh, what? <laughs> Whatever. Of course I can sell. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have sold that boat. Oh, fuck. Can I clear war on you? That was a bad idea. Shouldn't have sold the boat. Oh, wow. Uh, boats take a lot longer to build. Yeah. I For a that. cog, 700 days. My gosh. The force limit structure, land force limit plus 0.5, 50% state main. So much. Ah, oh, I have a naval force limit again. Alright, well, everyone's got some uh, autonomy back. Apparently, Monkey hit the statistics button, which pauses the game. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not screwing around. I'm building a fort in my capital. I'm not going to get sieged out again. But it's only one fort level, which is just surprisingly weak. And it's 300 damn gold just to build mm. the damn castle. Damn, damn, god mm. damn it. <laughs> Lots of dams in there. Ah! <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Sometimes it's just necessary. Oh god. I want to attack. Let's not. I can get the Pope on side again. Pope really likes me. But Austria is a bit of a turd. Let me see. Who do I have truces with? No, no, I, m I must recover my manpower. <laughs> I must be patient. <laughs> Just sitting at this like, 39 <laughs> aggressive expansion floor, or cap, ceiling, whatever, words, Jesus. But like, God, stupid aggressive expansion limit in the HRE is so restrictive. Yeah. Hopefully in two years a bunch of people are going to leave the uh, HRE. That would be beautiful. Oh, I don't need estates. Well, I mean, it's not going to it's not going to affect you because you're not coming south, are you? No, but yeah. it'd still be nice. Hey, hold on. I can actually conquer this guy and not get a coalition. Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> Who are you attacking? East Frisia. Yeah. And he's got a thing that makes him have lots of money. Salt? No, the estuary. Ten, ten trade power. Uh, ooh. Also, rigid land. I, I, I think that's a, an idea group that he's taken for that. Increased coring cost. This does put me at eight out of six relations. Hmm. Which is a bit much. I do I have, think. like... Nationalism, mercenary, and decentralization. Yes. Ah! Oh, yeah, there we go. Nationalism ideas, rigid land, hostile core creation cost on us, plus 25%. I hate that idea. <sighs> Fucking nationalists. I understand. <laughs> hmm. How much is my vassal giving me right now? If I had my vassal swarm still, which I probably should have kept. You got rid of all of them. Every single I, I still have Ferrara because um, he's uh, he was too pissed off with me to annex. But if I had that, yeah, those and the uh, plus a hundred percent, that would have been super strong. That'd have been yeah. a lot of money. Well, yeah, it's one of the primary the, the, the taxation, and then also the reason I went for subjects was that there was all that I could do, but also just force limit. In one full force limit per subject guaranteed is pretty powerful. I've, got I've not been pushed for force limit yet. Hmm. Maybe I should dev as well my uh, my gold province. You have a gold province? Yeah, oh, you yeah. should dev it. Jesus, what have you been waiting for? 
You can do that for like 30, 40 years ago. Make so much money. So if Colonial Range affects my Explorer, should I get the next idea in Exploration? Because it gives plus 50% range? Yeah, of course. That seems be great. logical, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can build a boat. One boat. That's all you get. I mean, they didn't change boats, did they? Alright, my income has just gone up by about a ducat. Oh, I don't know, have they? <laughs> I don't pay attention to the navies. I mean, I had a boat and then I sold it for 10 ducats, and now I'm building uh, three more for 36 ducats. I feel like uh, this was the worst trade deal. <laughs> Because it, it's the bloody Austria's fault. He gave me unlawful territory. You can avoid that really easily, though. Declaring more wars? Yeah. Obfuscate your coring and day at war. And that's what I just did right up here. I took took over the province of Stade, Stad, whatever. And then after I was done, I vassalized East Frisia. I you didn't know, have another war to declare at the time. Have you tried um, maybe considering creating a claim chain? <laughs> I've heard they're pretty good. I'm going to start claiming on Switzerland, though. Would you like to, to partake in the partition of Switzerland? Um, I think I did rival him, actually. I did. I would I would jump on him solely for the purposes of power projection and stuff. So I'm actually kind of low on power projection right now. Yeah. I want three provinces from, uh, from him. Wallace, Walderstadt, and Riesha, which is his... Uh, thingy is a uh, gives money thing. Uh, but if you want any of the provinces like Bern, Zurich, they're pretty high devved. Basel, high devved. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I'm at the aggressive expansion cap. I can't do wait. Oh also, yeah, I, I, have... I keep forgetting aggressive expansion is a thing. I need to wait. So <laughs> patient. <laughs> I have a lot of war exhaustion as well because of the random occupation of my capital. This, this that waiting that is random, though, was killing it? me. Rebels, go away. And I need boats so that I can deal with rebels on my uh, island. Yeah, as well, later on, uh, Castile, Zippy, if you would like to go to war with Aragon, uh, I want the islands. Oh, yeah. I Wait, mean... That's a deal. That's a deal. No, it's <laughs> Wait, signed. It's Wait. been signed. Hold it on. It's signed. No, I'm fine with you taking the islands. I'm just not so fine with, you know, going to war against Aragon because I have to fight France. And France is kind of a beast. What do they got? Well, I could bring France into a dummy war, and then declare on Aragon, and then you declare on Aragon, and then France kills you, and I kill Aragon. That sounds like a terrible plan. I'm all mm. for it. <laughs> yes. Hey, it worked! I can, I can send my explorer out again. Question. Annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire. If somebody stops being a member of the Holy Roman Empire, does that immediately go away? All of it? No. Or does it just still tick down? It'll still tick down. That's sorry. Dumb as bollocks. Well, <laughs> the problem is you annexed like what three in a row, so you just Four. you stacked that modifier super high. Yeah. And like I annexed a member. I think I've, I think I've annexed one. So it just goes up to like what thirty, and then it. It goes away. Well, I'm at negative 60 right now. Have you considered getting better improved relations over time? More prestige? Um, being better? Prestige is, is, is difficult mm -hmm. to get right now, but my improved relations over time is at uh, plus 35%, which is pretty decent. I don't think there's anything I can take right now that would uh, bump it up higher.
I'm curious about these diplomatic ideas. Like, doesn't say there's any policies, but Spain. There's got to be. Yeah, there must. New world. I like how with the, the changes to the buildings and the ideas, there's like always something new to look at. Yeah. To, to, to consider, you don't just. You're not just done. Yeah, like uh, those, to bring it back to your comment section again, there were there were a few people in the first episode that were um, complaining that it was a little bit quiet. Uh, I like Stijo, Zippy, and Lambert, but there are no Quill, Northern Lion, um, and Mathis. It's like, well, yeah, I've only been doing it a year, but there's an awful lot of shit in this game to take into consideration when you yeah. like, especially especially when you've had. Like, I, I can only talk from my perspective, but especially when you've had five years off of playing the game, there's a lot to uh, there's a lot to pick up on. So, yes, if it seems like I'm quiet, probably because I'm thinking and looking and reading. Yeah. Uh, Zippy, I think you commented on that as well. On being quiet? Yeah, the, the comment on, like, Arumba's first video. Oh, uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm... I have to concentrate a lot more on, on not being complete and utter shit at the game. Yeah, for it comes me, like, it's like learning the mod, and then for you guys, it's learning the mod and the game, which is <laughs> yeah. I yeah, want it's kind of kind of rough. We're gonna throw you in the deep end. You either sink or swim. <laughs> that's that's the rules. That's kind of the reason why I'm playing is Castile. I need the handicap. It's a handicap. I think I kind of swum, considering that I beat England. <laughs> yeah, you. I don't do see well. any provinces changing hands. <laughs> you didn't technically beat England. You technically oh. lost your alliance with France as well. Oh no, that no. was later. No, he beat him. Just, just give him, give him I credit. Think, <laughs> it's true. The you war was a victory. You can have half a credit. What, are you coming the back already? Victory. Yeah, I agree. I agree with him. It See, was a not only did I earn it twenty favors with France, but I've also just earned half a, half a credit. So, Bohemia, what's wrong with you? Bohemia just rivaled me. Well, that's quite rude. It is. I mean, granted, he was at, like, negative 50 relations with me, but still, but still. I have five people who have rivaled me. Huh. Who knows that war with Wales and the Welsh War for Independence and France is yeah. fighting them again? You oh. could probably jump on that. France is at war with England again. Yeah, but is France going to be able to drop troops over there? God damn it. Nope, literally the opposite is happening. I just mm. built a bunch of buildings, and now my next idea is construction cost minus 15. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, why, game? The opposite is happening as in... As in, uh, England is landing in Brittany. How many trips is England landing in Brittany? 13,000. Mm. Oh, right, okay, a, that's his Irish trips. Just got another decent general. Otto Heinrich something. Can't see the rest of his name, but he's a 3344. Siege pips. You've donated 75 ducats to the Pope, eh? Hmm? What? No, Whatever I don't... Whatever for. Whatever for. Papal influence. <laughs> really? That's it? He's going hard on the papal influence. <laughs> I have yeah. discovered the new world! Hey! See, I'm going to laugh, right? I've got 5.5% chance of becoming the Curia controller. To oh, your 27.5%. my God. I'm going to laugh so hard if I get it. I am going to scream. I mean, I, how much do you gain a month? Sorry, a year. Uh, right now it's close to 30. Let me double check. A year? No, you don't get 30 a year. Yeah, you do. Hold on. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, no, 17. I'm sorry. You get 17 papal influence a year. Yeah. He does. I do. He's got that religious idea and he said there's a policy. Where, where were you? Last episode, we were just talking about it. <laughs> yeah. The base, his base influence is like, what? You get like probably 10 per year, and then you've got, what, 150 That's, opinion with the Pope? You could be on three stab permanently with that. I am. Sounds, sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're obsessed with stability, aren't you? The stability's pretty I mean, good. <laughs> yeah. It always comes back to stab for you. <laughs> stability, I don't know what to tell you. It's pretty nice to have. Well, uh, when you don't have it, you definitely need it. When fine. You, when you have it, you're just going to forget about it. I have, well, like, even in the vanilla campaign, the streamed campaign I was doing today, like, you get so many events, and you're already on three stab, and you're just like, oh, great, another 50 admin. How can I kill <laughs> my king? Make him uh, into a general, and then make him drill an army. 
Well, or just lose well, 50 prestige shit. and just murder him in his sleep or something. And all your legitimacy. Um, yeah, so one, one thing I really wanted the stability for is prosperity. Because we've got mod that says that if you've got prosperity, you get random events every so often that give you dev. Who did I just... Oh, I didn't realize that. I want that too. <laughs> prosperity? <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. What, what is prosperity? Wait a minute. What is prosperity? No, I've seen find your, find your devastation map mode. Uh huh. Uh, see all the green? No. That's just, prosperity. Just, just click on a province and press S to look over at the state screen, and then you can see your prosperity R. Yeah, but what ah. prosperity increases prosperity? You have to have positive stab. At zero, you don't lose it. At positive, oh. it can grow. At negative, you lose it very quickly. Two per month. So yeah, don't okay. go negative. Stay positive. Okay. Well, I've been you're resting one for ages. So. Yeah, your resting stab goal should be one. Don't try to go like bypass that unless you get random events and stuff. But also, don't stay at zero, and you can't get prosperity. Yeah. So that's that's the reason I really wanted some pros uh, stability for the prosperity. Right. That's fair. Well, it, it seems like it's that time again, though. Oh, Indeed. man. Really? It oh, is. you're a minute late, man. What the hell? Well, that's because someone was explaining prosperity. I can cut them off. I probably started that after the 20 minute mark, but okay. Alright. Anyway, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CJ, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. See you in a bit.